So Poppy Playtime currently has two chapters in their very first game. And the reason why I'm saying the first game is because there's many different clues and hidden announcements that actually point towards there being multiple different Poppy Playtime games and such coming in the future, whether it's sequels, prequels, spin-offs, and so on. Those of which being things even some of the most involved members of the community may not catch, since most of these clues come from random messages in Discord servers and other small things like hidden in the Poppy Playtime files. So the first thing I want to get out of the way is going to be the Poppy Playtime movie because this is by far the most commonly known sort of Poppy Playtime spinoff thing there is. If you didn't know, the company Studio 71 had partnered up with Mob Games to actually create a Poppy Playtime movie. Now with all the merchandising and other controversies going on around this time, this was a very controversial move and it's something that not many people are actually very happy about. But in terms of actual movie contents, a lot of people were wondering with there only being one chapter out of the time of the announcement, what in the world was this movie going to be about because we don't really have much in terms of lore even to this day but apparently by poppy playtime movie they just mean that it's going to be in the poppy playtime universe meaning it could be at any point in the factory's existence whether it's before the original game during it or even long after it i don't know how well this movie would do considering that it may not even be about the actual game but it seems like the team is trying to expand the universe of poppy outside of their one successful game thus far kind of like what fnaf has been doing except poppy may actually release their movie. The next instance of Poppy Playtime expanding would be their potential multiplayer mode inside of the actual raw game. If you didn't know, a lot of people recently have been digging into Poppy Playtime Chapter 2's actual files, and one of the most notable files that was found was called Multiplayer. Upon digging through this folder, people found, more specifically the YouTuber Horoscope found, that there were two characters with idle animations that sort of sat there and did nothing. Those of which being Huggy Wuggy and Mommy Long Legs. This pretty much confirms to us that Poppy Playtime will have a multiplayer mode of some sorts, and the two characters that'll be a part of it will include Huggy and Mommy. This would be absolutely crazy, but it's also possible that this could be referring to the recently announced Poppy Playtime Monsters and Mortals DLC expansion, which if you didn't know is something that is releasing to the multiplayer game called, like mentioned, Monsters and Mortals. This was announced a while ago, and it seems like this little file thing here is some sort of character select screen developed inside of the game. And speaking of which, the next expansion I want to talk about would be the Poppy Playtime Monsters and Mortals collaboration. If you didn't know, Monsters and Mortals is basically just a multiplayer party game invented by the Dark Deception creators, and the game includes multiple different collaborations from other games for characters, one of which being, of course, the Poppy Playtime characters. This expansion isn't released yet, but will include, as of right now, Huggy Wuggy and Kissy Missy according to the Steam page description, which on a side note makes me think that the multiplayer menu just mentioned may have been used for something else since that included mommy long legs and not kissy missy i guess we won't know until it releases and there's collaborations ahead of it like the yandere simulator expansion but i imagine we'll find out sometime soon anyway going on to some more important ideas did you know that poppy playtime had actually conceptualized there being a vr game this might not necessarily be the most likely thing to happen just based on the age of the initial announcement but originally believe it or not there was a teased vr poppy playtime game dating all the way back before the title even released. More specifically, back before Chapter 1 initially came out, the Poppy Playtime developers had created a Kickstarter project with the goal of getting extra funding for their game. And while, as I'll talk about in future videos, the project did not go to plan at all, if we look into the Kickstarter project itself, when talking about the reasoning for asking for funding, they had mentioned it was used to ensure that all the chapters would come out in a timely manner, along with, of course, making sure that they were well polished. However, at the end of this little note, they also mentioned quote, future chapters have a much higher chance of actually being made, or perhaps a VR version of the game. So even before the game was released, there were already apparently talks of this game eventually coming to virtual reality. I think this would be a pretty cool concept just because it's sort of a trend to bring certain games into VR, and it's a trend that only FNAF has really done correctly in the indie gaming scene in my opinion. But with that being said, the reason why I don't feel like this will surely happen is just because the Kickstarter failed miserably. It actually got cancelled before it even had the chance to finish and with 200 hours pledged of the $45,000 goal it's safe to say that it failed and while we are thankful enough to still get the first chapter despite this lack of money we haven't heard about this VR version ever since so at least for now I don't know how likely this one is to still happen but moving on the biggest thing that we've ever heard about poppy playtime expansions ever is announcements of future full-blown poppy playtime games that have actually been rumored to be released in the coming years I'm sure at this point it's 
it's no surprise to you guys that the Poppy Playtime developers have been unbelievably ambitious ever since their movie announcement. But even before that movie was announced, there was a few other different little mentions of Poppy Playtime expanding outside of its own universe that for whatever reason we've never really talked about. And we can find these secrets like most things hidden in Poppy Playtime inside of their very own Discord server. For example, something you probably don't know, unless you're subscribed to me of course, is that in the server they confirmed that Poppy Playtime will obviously be releasing their second chapter on mobile soon after a big delay, but also that there's going to be an Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo Switch port to the full version of the game when all five or however many chapters there are are completed. Anyway, some of the best places to find information about these things would actually be from the developers themselves, because funny enough, they actually like to come in and chat with all the fans pretty often. Most of the time, it's about small things or just random interactions, but especially back before chapter two came out, the developers would often tease some highly anticipated things, and the best example of somebody doing this would be from the developer named Micah. Micah was a big part in leaking many details to help us with some development progression with chapter two. However, one time back in March, he hopped on the Discord server to give us some news that I don't think any of us were expecting. A Discord user by the name of Skuma actually asked Micah directly if he was planning on releasing any prequels for Poppy Playtime, and Micah would actually surprisingly respond to this message and said, quote, maybe someday, we've certainly discussed it a few times. This message obviously had the Discord getting hyped, however, a lot of people were doubtful of there being a prequel since at the time there was literally just one chapter, and so naturally they questioned where there would be a place for said prequel. Micah would actually again respond to these messages and he said, quote, there's certainly quite a bit that can be explored in a prequel, lots of juicy origins. So basically, yeah, there are actually talks of prequels coming in Poppy Playtime as we speak. Apparently, there's going to be all sorts of origins and such that we don't even end up finding out inside of the full original game, just because they need to save some lore if there's actually going to be other games in the talks, along with, of course, the movie that takes place in the Poppy Playtime universe, which will also most likely reveal some lore of some sorts, however, most likely in a different timeline. So it seems like that would be probably the most interesting of all the spinoff games. And there's even more proof of there being other games in the franchise, since in the promotional poster for their newest partner program, they advertise benefits including access to other games, meaning there will be more Poppy Playtime games in the future. And I just wish I was there to ask about any sort of sequels because that would have been crazy to hear more about as well. Because even though they didn't specifically say that there was going to be a sequel, they also didn't say there was going to be a prequel until they were directly asked about it. So I just wouldn't be surprised if there also happened to be some other games in the works that we're just yet to hear about. And that can be in the form of sequels or spinoffs or pretty much anything that they put their minds to because they've already proven that that's how they were. But Poppy Playtime Monsters and Mortals collab, Poppy Playtime Movie, Poppy Playtime VR, and Poppy Playtime prequels and sequels. Which of these did you know and which one surprised you? Comment below. Subscribe and peace.